Hi LS Experience, it's Mrs. Shamara Takata and I am going to talk to you today about uh, transitions in Step Up to Writing. And so as you can see on my Bitmoji, a transition actually moves you from here to here. So that's what that's about. Uh, what you're going to need today is your composition book and it should be turned to the transitions page. There are two pages we're going to be going over. You might want to pull up your um, Step Up to Writing digital resource. And today we're going to just be going over a couple of the pages in here. And then I'm going to go over your assignment. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so transitions are yellow. So for this, you will need your yellow highlighter or crayon or color pencil. And what you see on that page is almost exactly what's on this page. So uh, when you have time, I want you to um, highlight, or you can pause the video as we're doing this to highlight these parts in your composition book. So I'm just gonna go over it. So transitions. Star ideas plus transitions for expository writing. Now, if you look at that and then I scroll down there are transitions also for narrative writing, but we are focusing on the expository writing. So I'm gonna go back up here, okay? For your expository information or argumentative writing, you will have to include star ideas, which are important reasons, important details, or an important specific fact that supports the purpose of your writing. Each star idea sentence should have a transition within the sentence that will introduce the idea. So transitions help writers organize their ideas and information. And transitions help readers see the organization and understand what they are reading. Okay, so make sure you highlight these things in yellow. In Step Up to Writing, transition and star ideas are yellow. Highlight that in yellow because they mean slow down and introduce an idea or like um, I, I know I've mentioned this before um, usually in a stoplight original intent was that yellow the yellow light meant to slow down but people kind of uh, zoom through but another way to think about it is that it means like proceed slowly because something's coming up like so that like ca proceed with caution so slow down okay so transitions plus the star ideas are yellow and it means to slow down and we're gonna um, we're gonna move from one area to another area okay so transitions can be specific words and phrases or they can be more subtle and less obvious so um, here if you see there's a star here in a multi-paragraph writing the yellow star ideas are called transition topic sentences. Transition topic sentences are usually the first sentence in the body paragraph. And again, we'll get more into that a little bit later. Okay, so transitions for narrative writing are a little bit different. So as you can see, it's in narrative writing, transitions are different. Narrative transitions indicate time. So early in the morning, you'll see that in a book. Early in the morning, she heard the rooster crow or after a few weeks, after a few weeks, my best friend returned home. Or throughout the day, that's a setting of time. Throughout the day, I kept thinking about my dog. Or the following morning, the following morning, my eyes were puffy because I cried. So those are narrative transitions and those indicate a change in time. Another transition for narrative writing is place. Um, so location, so for example, near the house, that's where the dog was taking a nap. Or outside the fence was where I saw my ball. Or by the front door, there was a gigantic package left by the post office, okay? So you use narrative transitions in expository writing when you're retelling an event or explaining a sequence of events. So if you're telling something, um, 
but for the most part, you will be using these other transitions, star ideas and transitions for expository writing. Okay, so that is slide nine. Please make sure you highlight those areas in your composition book. Okay, because again, this composition book is your resource. Okay, we're going to move on to slide 10. Oh, it's laggy still. Okay, so slide 10 is actually just a, a page full of transition sets. So um, below are some sets of transitions you can use in your star ideas. So these three could potentially go together. One would be the first transition. Then in the next uh, star idea, you would use the word another. And then in the third star idea, you could use the word finally. Um, you might also want to use this transition set. First is the first star idea. Next would be the second star idea. Last would be the third star idea. Okay. Um, another set is first of all. That would be the first star idea. The second would be the second star idea. A third would be the third star idea. So these are just some transition sets that you could use together. Um, you can mix and match too. So if you look here, one, you have this one here. Okay, I can't even highlight it. One, and then you could use that as your first transition, um, your first star idea transition. But you could use next if it works as your um, second star transition. And then you can use later as your third star transition, as long as it makes sense. So these kind of can work together, the ones that are grouped together, but they don't have to be. You can be flexible with that. You can experiment. Some things sound better than others. So that's something that um, I guess the more you read and the more you write and the more familiar you become with the English language, you start to see certain um, transitions will work better than others. Okay. So again, this is just a set, uh, a page of sets of transitions. So what I would like you to do is to just highlight them in your composition book when you can. And just remember that the transitions and the star ideas um, are yellow. Okay. All right. So now, um, well, we've already kind of talked about this, the star ideas earlier, but um, let me go to your assignment. So in your assignment today, in the step up to writing assignment, you are going to be working on slide 10, 11, and 12. So I'll zoom in so you can see what it looks like. Okay. So slide 10 continues to be the example of the baked chicken. Okay. And so you're going to kind of look and see on slide 10, you're going to use it as a model for you to do slide 11 and slide 12. So the writing prompt is still the same. What's your favorite school lunch? Explain why. Uh, this T-chart uses the however topic sentence. I enjoy a lot of school lunches, semicolon, still, comma, baked chicken has to be my all-time favorite. And so the topic is baked chicken. The first star idea is crispy skin, and then the two E's that support the crispy skin, that explain the crispy skin. The second star idea is juicy meat. Then we have the two E's that explain what's so great about the juicy meat. The third uh, star idea is the roll, and then the two E's that support why the rolls are awesome. Okay? So, uh, ooh. Okay, so now we're breaking it down, the three parts of a transition sentence. So that's this, the star idea with the transition. So what you're going to be looking at right here is our examples of these, what they look like. So you will start with a transitional word, which will be something from one of these sets. So if you look on the example here, to begin with, 
That is uh, this person's transitional word or phrase. To begin with, I love baked chicken. That's referring back to the topic sentence. Okay, it's your all-time favorite. So you're just saying, I love it for its crisp, crispy skin. Do you see how it mentions the star idea? So you see there are three columns here. We have the transitional word. We have the reference back to the topic sentence. And then we have the star idea. So this first star idea sentence would read, to begin with, I love baked chicken for its crispy skin. The second star idea is about juicy meat. So the transition that was chosen is the word next. Okay. Then the reference back to the topic sentence, baked chicken is my favorite. It's an all time favorite. Okay. And then we have the star idea because of the juiciness of the meat. So the second star idea with the transition would read next baked chicken is my favorite because of the juiciness of the meat. It's all one sentence. Okay. Now our third star idea is the role. Okay. And the transition that this person chose was finally. So the, Referring back to the topic sentence, baked chicken is the best lunch ever. Okay, I enjoy a lot of school lunch. Baked, uh, baked chicken is my all-time favorite. So basically it's saying it's the best lunch ever. And then the star idea, since it is always served with a warm roll. Okay, that's talking about the star idea. So this third uh, star idea with a transition sentence would read, finally... Baked chicken is the best lunch ever since it's always served with a warm roll. Okay, so this is the example on page 10. You don't have to do anything. You're going to just look at page 10. You're going to now move on to page 11. And this is where you are going to have to do some writing. So the writing prompt is a little bit different. It's not anything you've seen yet. Which Disney characters do you admire and explain why? So what's been given to you already is the occasion position topic sentence. While there are many Disney characters, I admire Mulan, Belle, and Pocahontas the most. Now, you do not have to agree with this in order to do this practice. Okay, just remember that. Right now what you're doing is you're practicing. But you don't have to believe this. This is just giving you information and you practicing. Okay? So the topic is Disney characters. The first character who's this person's favorite is Mulan. And these are the explanations why Mulan is so liked or admired. Okay. Second uh, star idea is Belle. And these are the E's or the explanations why Belle is so admired. And the third is Pocahontas. And again, these are the E's that support or explain why the writer um, admires Pocahontas. So now we have the time where you need to write the part, the transition uh, sentence with the star idea. So you have to go and you have to look. What will your first transition word be? You choose one and you click on here and you type it. It's lagging, okay? And then you will f refer back to your topic sentence. Something from in here, some idea from in there. You're going to add that. And then you're going to put your star idea. So in this case, it would be Mulan. You have to turn these ideas into actual parts of a sentence. So I'm going to just type an example here that I will delete later. Um, I'm looking at the first oh, of all, that's my transition phrase. First of all, I'm going to go back up to my uh, topic sentence. One of my favorites, favorite Disney characters 
is Mulan. Okay. It can be that easy. This might not be the best one, but it's practice. Okay. Now, if you look and you compare that to, um, sorry, let me go up to slide 10 so you can compare it to the big chicken. Um, it's a little different, but it still has the same idea. This one ha doesn't just have a single word, but it can. If you wanted to put, I love baked chicken for its, and then you could have just put crispy skin there. Okay. Remember, this is just to help you organize. And so you would read this uh, transition star idea sentence as, first of all, this would be a lowercase o, one of my favorite Disney characters is Mulan, period. Okay. All right. So I want to again remind you that because this is a video, you can pause it. If I'm going too fast, you can replay it. You can do, watch it over and over again. Okay. So you're going to do that for, you're going to do the first one for Mulan. Then you will do a transitional uh, sentence star idea for Belle and then one for Pocahontas. Okay. Slide 12 is another or a different um, writing prompt. And if we go up, this one is about what is your favorite animal and explain why. Most people favor dogs. Meanwhile, my favorite animals are fish, pandas, and llamas. Now again, I want to remind you, maybe these three animals are your least favorite, but they, you don't have to agree with it in order to practice. Okay, so I don't want you to get caught up. Well, I, I hate those animals. Okay, that's great. That's okay. You still got to practice. Okay because you're just practicing. So here's the T-chart, my favorite animals. We have fish, and then we have the uh, explanation why. Then we have pandas and the explanation why, and the llamas and the explanation why. And then you're gonna have to do the same thing, okay? Start with a transitional word or phrase, and then refer back to your topic sentence. So you might have to scroll back up and find something, an idea from here, and then refer back to your star idea which in this case would be fish for the first one, pandas for the second, and llamas for the third. Okay, so I know that we are kind of going through this quickly, um, but we are on a time frame, so we're trying to do this. So if you have questions, you need to make it a point to go see your language arts teacher during their office hours, okay? because we want to help you, um, but we do need to keep going. We can't just like keep dilly-dallying, okay? So tonight, again, for your homework is you are going to take a look at and look at carefully slide 10, because this is the example, and then you will complete slide 11 about the Disney character, and you will also complete slide 12 about your favorite animal. And these are due uh, tomorrow. So your teachers will be looking at it. Okay. And giving you feedback and perhaps asking you questions. Alrighty. So again, if you need to get in contact with your teacher, you can email them, you can Google voice or text them. You can, uh, show up at office hours. Okay. Cause we, we want to help you. Alrighty. So go ahead and do this and get practicing. Bye.